What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. And that's right, for sure you read that title right. Listen, for the last three years, people have been asking me, I hate to say it like that, but I'm gonna tell the truth. They've been saying, hey, make chicken and dumplings. And listen, because I make it so often, you know what I mean? I just, these are the things that just get overlooked. Like I don't make spaghetti, but I make a palm spaghetti. You know what I mean? Because I make it all the time. Listen, I don't wanna ramble. I'm just gonna pan over these ingredients so you guys can see it. And then don't forget, the dish and down below in the description box is the full ingredient list. So let's look down here. You could just see, look, and let me just start off right. Look how big this is right here. This is a big onion. But as you see, listen, these are the ingredients as we pan across. And I'm gonna stop right here on the chicken because I did use it. Look, this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This right here, this, this is what's gonna level it up, right? And then we got chicken stock, and then we got our utensils. So Enough of this talking. I don't want to, you know, continue over talking. So let's get it. Okay, so look, I didn't want to bore you guys. I went ahead and just diced my onions, right? You guys can dice them. You can cut them into like, you know, uh, quarters, however you want to do it. But for me, I like to dice mine. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this up to a medium high heat. Drop my butter in. We're gonna melt that and then we're gonna start with the onions first. Now, I always talk about things being super easy and fast to make. Now that we're doing, you know, we're starting to saute these onions, now we're gonna go ahead and chop our celery and our carrots. All right, so we'll just go ahead and cut these down like this. You don't, I don't dice them all, only just really do my onions that way. But here you can cut these a little bit bigger as you can with the onions, but this is the way I like it to be right here. So I'm gonna set this off over here. Now we're getting ready to work with these carrots. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding, you know, the rest of my veggies. No particular order. You just wanna get them in here and start breaking these down. Okay, so look, this has been going on for about three minutes. Look at that. You can see the way the onions have broke down. And then this is, they coat it with the butter and starting to like heat up from the steam. This is where you want it to be about right here, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my thyme. Then I'm gonna bring my chicken. And if you notice the way I'm doing it, I'm laying them flat so they kind of like just smother the veggies and help it steam. Now, this right here, this is six cups. So this is a four cups Pyrex. I'm not gonna go ahead and measure that out. I know I got six cups in here. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna start adding it. And again, I might not say this in the very beginning, but this is 33% less sodium. Remember, we watching our intake. So now we'll add two cups. Okay, so now that we got all of our chicken broth in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bay leaf, and then we're just gonna put the bay leaf, we're gonna put it in there, and I like to just submerge it. Now remember, I got it on medium high heat, right? So it's nothing really to like stir, you know what I mean? Uh, the veggies are gonna loosen up as the chicken kinda like floats up off of it anyway. So I'm gonna put this like that, I'm gonna add my top, we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then we're gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. After that, then we're gonna move over to the next step. Now, what I, okay, this already came up to a boil. I reduced it a little bit. So we're gonna let this continue for 30 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our dumplings. So you wanna get yourself like a medium, you know, medium sized bowl, right? You're gonna take the rest of your ingredients and we're gonna mix these up. And then we're gonna go ahead and make these dumplings. Now I'm gonna start with my flour, baking powder. Now look, if you looked at the ingredients down in the, in the uh, description box below, 
This is that old school shortening. Everybody remember their grandma had this or some, some type of lard or something on that stove, right? So then we're gonna add this also. We're gonna give it just a, a couple of pinches of salt. And last, we're gonna add our buttermilk. And then we're gonna go ahead and get, you know, mix it up. Now, if you got a pastry blender, you can use that. I don't have one. I do have one, but couldn't find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use, you know, like this, uh, this fork right here. So we're just gonna work this just like you see here and get it all incorporated until it forms a dough. Okay, so look, I went ahead and put my hands in here. You know what I mean? And, uh, you gotta get your hands dirty. So I use my thumbs. I kind of like just keep folding it over like this till I got it mixed. And then I take it, look, you see how this is? It's nice and sticky. I ran this around the side of the bowl to make sure that I got all of the flour. You know what, super easy, just like that. And then we finna make these dumplings. Now, let me check on our broth and let's move on to the next thing. Okay, my time's up. Go ahead and reduce it. Oh man, as soon as you open this up, just the, the fragrance that it, you know, the aroma that it gives off, that right there is right. Okay, so listen, if you guys have watched a video that I did of a barbecue uh, chicken dip, if you watch that, you'll know about this little trick right here. So look, we finna shred. I'm using my KitchenAid mixer. You guys can use a regular hand mixer, however you wanna do it, but I let that drip. Listen, so we are not gonna do no more shredding and nothing like that. We're gonna, you know, hand shred. We're not gonna use those two forks. We're just gonna take it just like you see right here. Okay, so got it all in there. Check it out. Lock it, and then I'm gonna turn it on low. So we'll just ease it up. And then as they get smaller, you can just raise the, you know, the speeds up, speed up. Okay, and as you can see, we got shredded chicken. Okay, so now that we done with the, you know, we done with the chicken, right? The shredding, now we come back to our dumpling, right? You guys can do it however you want to. I'm just gonna take a little piece like this. And when you say dumpling, take a look right here. This is getting ready to start to boil again because we're gonna bring this to a simmer. You just wanna go ahead and just start adding these just like you see here. Now, it's up to you how many you wanna add, you know what I mean? But you want everybody to get it. And then the sizes can vary, you know? I try to like put them somewhere where they're not on top of each other. Okay, I'm putting in my last couple. Now you see it simmering right now. We're gonna let it simmer and cook the dumplings for about, I say about eight to 10 minutes. We're gonna see how they are after eight minutes. And then if we like the way they are, then we're gonna go ahead and add, bring, you know, introduce our chicken. Okay, so here, now we'll just go ahead and start, you know, cutting up our, excuse me, dicing down <laughs> our parsley. Okay, it's been eight minutes, and I actually just sampled one of them. It's almost right on the money. Now, you remember this right here? Ah, yeah. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this, you know, to it. Be careful so that when it splashes, if it does, it doesn't get on you. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make sure we get this blended in here. And now that we have it shredded, look at it right there. We want that to absorb some of this, oh man. This right here is fire, folks. And using that blender gets it shredded just right. That's up to you guys. If you want it to be more chunky, you know, you cut your pieces how you want them to be. You can add more chicken, take away chicken, however you want to. It'll be strictly uh, customizable, you know? But this right here is what we're looking for right here. Now, I'm gonna let this cook for about five or 10, no, about five or six minutes. And then when that's done, we're gonna go ahead and put it in a bowl and then we finna sample it. You know what, after saying that, then I start remembering, look, we got parsley. So I'm gonna add my parsley to it. Gotta add that. Hey, just the way the green makes it plop, pop and it does add some flavor to it also. So it's up to you how much you put in here, you know? But I'm gonna save some for a little garnish also. But look at this right here. You want just to cook along with it you know, along with that five or six minutes. Okay, so this is done. Look, it's been exactly five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Oh, luckily I found my bay leaf. We're gonna take this out. Oh yeah. You could just feel, even when you touch them, look how soft that is. Look, I'm gonna show you how soft it is. No resistance. See how that just breaks loose? 
Look, just tears right off. All right, let me hurry up and get this in a bowl so we can taste it. Now, right here, you guys can get up close and personal with it, right? Now, look, I want you to take a look at that liquid. Listen, this is more like a on a soup type version. That's the way we like it here. Now, if you guys want to make it thick, so it'd be like something similar to like a, a pot pie or something like that, go ahead and get yourself three to four tablespoons of cornstarch and then equal parts in cold water. Mix it and cook it in there and it'll thicken right up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. All right. So now's the time, you know what I mean, to go ahead. I don't even know where to go, but look, I just want to go ahead and do this right now so you guys can just see how, look how soft that is. Let's get some of that, some of the celery. Let's see, let's get a little chicken. And that right there, folks, is chicken and dumplings. All right, so. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Man. So flavorful. Look, the dumplings are nice and soft and they're flavorful too. You know, cooking in that broth just does it for you. I can just tell you, you can taste all of that inside of there. I don't wanna like over talk it, try to sell it to you guys. You gotta make it. Look, it's winter time. Let's get down. Let's just raise up, you know, our, uh, our repertoire, add this to the rotation and this right here, get you going. Now, let me get me a napkin. Let me wipe my mouth. Hey, listen, this is just like, <laughs> again, I don't want to sell it. You guys got to make it. Come back and let me know down in the comment section below, you know, what you think about this. Now, some people like it to be a little bit more on the thick side. You can go ahead and add like a, a cornstarch slurry to it, you know, thicken it up a little bit. But if you ask me, uh, I like it just the way it is right here. You guys can, you know, custom make it and do it the way you guys do it, right? And also, you see I didn't put a lot of salt in there. I like it like this because listen, I watch my salt intake, my sodium intake, right? So look, this right here, I've already trained my palate, you know what I mean? So a little bit of salt goes a long ways when it comes to myself, right? But for those that think that they need some more, just, you know, let, you know, pass the salt over to them and you let them salt their individual bowls themselves. Now, with that being said, check it out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this channel. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell every Everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and you know what it's actually a hot day out here in California but I'm finna get down with this right now and I'm out of here peace